One day when the glory comes, it will be ours. It will be ours. Oh, one day when the war is won, we will be sure. I got a call from an executive at Paramount who said that they got a call from Charles Phillips and that he was reaching out on behalf of a small group of people who had seen the film and felt like it was worthy of doing something more. What that was, they weren't exactly sure, but they knew it was going to be something around encouraging students to see Selma. Then maybe two days later, I said, well, how's that thing going? Oh, it's going to be 27,000 kids um, are going to be able to see this. I thought, nothing could be better than this. Nothing could be better than this, except when it became 50,000 kids, and 75,000 kids, and 100,000 kids, and it moved from New York to Detroit, to Philly, to Atlanta, to, and people started coming, and it, we just watched it grow in awe. I mean, uh, Oprah, and David, and Common, and all of us, legend, we'd be trading emails back and forth. It's like, did you see this? Did you hear about this, a new city? I'd never seen, heard, experienced anything like it. And I've been in the industry for a while. I worked as a publicist, as a marketer for a long time, a couple of decades. And this was something that was completely new, completely organic. And I think that's why it worked. Because it was not the studio saying, do this. It, this was not an organization saying, we think you should do this. This was a heart thing, you know? And this was true, and it was pure. And that's why it worked, and that's why it um, will really stand as a testament for what real hard work is as it pertains to our entertainment, our community, our images, and uh, just our collective consciousness. It's fantastic. I have the opportunity to see miracles every day. Working with 10,000 children affords me that opportunity. And I have to say that I was so moved by this act. It seemed simple, it was generous, it was kind, and it reflected on something that we try to teach the children throughout the zone all the time, which is this idea about giving back and being active and doing things that reflect your own values. It could have been education, it could have been homeless issue, it could have been the environment. So I think that the possibilities for this pop-up philanthropy really just goes beyond people's imagination in terms of whatever you could think that you wanted to focus on. We sent over a thousand young men to see the film as a result of the investment of the Summer for Students a movement. I'm very proud of that. And I know, and you talk to the young men themselves, uh, I had one of the young men who walked out of one of the screenings and said, this was the best film I've ever seen in my life. You could see how it moved them to see those images of, 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 of so many of our people and having dogs you know, put on them and fire hoses and just the challenges that we went through. They were truly impacted. And I'm very confident that young people all across the country were impacted as well. To Kathy, Ken, Carol, Bill, Karen, and Charles. Tony and Robin, and all of the visionaries around the country who came together to make Selma for Students a reality. I don't feel like it's even appropriate to thank you. I honor you, I salute you. And so um, on behalf of the whole Selma film family, um, our deepest respect and love and gratitude. Thank you.